How's it going, my friends? My name is Rajmon, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. But the last time I recorded this was for Game Show Friday, and that was a review of a game, which I do love this game, I just haven't gone far, because my editor's gone, and I'm stuck in the game. But I've seen videos on this game, and I do love it, but I've not seen... I don't know or remember much from this game, but... Anyway, I tried recording this a few minutes ago, but... I was stuck. Because I couldn't figure out this fucking riddle. But anyway... I had to look I looked up the riddle, couldn't find an answer, so then I just watched the video. And it's... Like, really? How was I supposed to know that? Right fucking here. For some people one know... Golden marble. But anyway, uh I have not played this in a long time. Now I can't enter that room again. I didn't even look to see the last time I played it. Too bright to see anything. Now where the fuck do I go? Probably should have locked back in that room before I... Mirror? Oh wow, I didn't even think I was going to work. I honestly did not know that, I just did that as a joke. Like, if that was going to be in my inventory, I couldn't go into any other room, so I did it as a joke. Huh? Wait, wait, pick up your fucking mirror. I should bring it back with me. Oh, it starts to disappear. Alright, now we are in this room. Hello, doll. Huh. You look friendly. You're not going to stab me in the back. It's just such a, such a strange doll. There's paper on the floor. I can't understand the handri this handwriting. I don't I can't understand this handwriting. I can't understand. They are dirty uh, with footprints. I don't want to touch them. Wait, what time is it? It's not moving. The spirit. The spines of these books are scratched out. I can't read for titles. Okay, same crap. Going up here, even though I saw a door down there. It's a diary. For something scribbled on the cover. Little goody two shoes. What the hell? I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor in and cold sleepless nights. I often dreamt about a better future, one that could fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and and thick, expensive steaks. One day I heard of an old woman talking about a strange rumor. She said that a certain someone had been granting wishes in the woods to anyone who dares summon a certain summon a cer certain name. Someone who was quite human. What happened? The doll got up and left. Okay, so that doll's name was human. But anyway, I'm trying to come up with a name for this character. I know on the mirror it said G, like it the letter G was engraved. Oh. That's just a mirror. 
Wait, I'm I, am I on the other side? It's moving like water. Of course. Here, somewhere. Uh, oh, this seems nice. Is, is that pumpkin snoring? The door shut. The door now is stuck. Am I in, uh... I feel like I'm in Beauty and the Beast, kinda. She's looking this way. Oh no, look away before she gets turned into stone. Wait, wait, what? Shh, just pretend she, you're asleep, or she'll get you. Do we think I'm Medusa? Zzz. Ow. My hand! I don't want to touch it. Oh, save. Alright. What about Jenny? That's a decent name. Looking for something? What do you mean? Shut. When I was stuck, I wasn't stuck. I don't fucking know. Wait, what the fuck? There's like a pumpkin in me. My hand. Really? You didn't learn from the first time, young lady? Mirror? Well, I'm already lost. So there's some sort of puzzle. Pressing enter on almost everything. Then why don't you do it? Well, we only have a chance this thing, and that's nothing. Is there like a door down here? Of course not. Do you really want to try it again? You still haven't learned from the first couple times. Why is that thing so hot? Okay, game. What do I do? Just wandering around. Come on, break it down. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Oh, I only got a headache. Do I have to use my mirror somewhere? Gee. Oh, I forgot her name. There's a fucking pumpkin in me. You honestly still touch it. Like, nothing's gonna happen but 18th time you touch it. A big golden frame mirror hangs on the wall. Okay, what the fuck do I do? I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. No 
window. No wall. To window, to wall. Well, game. You are not helpful at all. Touch it. Just do it. It's a little warm. Just turn the fucking knob or pull. I forgot the name I gave you. <sighs> what the fuck am I even trying to do? Well, I should probably... I don't know if this game has choices or something, but it's about just for safety. In case I ever need to come back. Okay, I do. Fewer use items. Keep it. I honestly have no other choice but to open the door. I don't care if it's super hot, you still need to do it. These pumpkins aren't going to be helpful. Fucking pumpkins. This game is not very helpful. It doesn't even tell you what to do. Alright, I'm just trying shit now. Finding a sac sacrifice for those in the dis dismay, stolen by the just childish play. Right t and left, take my hand. A request is your demand. Alright, this looks like I'm going to do a choice. Okay, eyeballs. I want to see it. I want to see it once more. Huh. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror. 
I once knew it so well. There were pairs of crimson col colodiums, irises, accom that accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed staring directly at me and no one but me after I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories forge and en uh, encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence recollection which does which doesn't belong to me I'll be honest who am I to when to dis when to, when to whom do these memories belong I wonder for are certainly no not mine and yet here we are is that is I have a small room where I said Every remind, every remind, reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which which replayed once again, once and again, a thousand times, has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind, and yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than. My complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by these same eyes. Living in a living in a small room, I remember a dream I once had. I tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet which guided me toward the single opening of the darkness of a darkness dark, darkened wall one that seemed to advance further and further with each with every step i took in an instant i was thrown into a world i did not know existed one of the other sides of the uh, Gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered by. covered my back. back braids into these braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy, flurry, frilly clothing. Who was this person? I had never seen. Could it be me? Could it be me? I recall lifting my smile, hand to hand, and touching my own cheek. Such a gentle, engraved itself onto my mirror. The soft texture of my skin, the free, free and effortless movement I had made made to re raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange s sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to to a feeling of exist excitement which led my imagination as astray i was not on not only was i real i was alive that little girl reflected on the mirror was me and i could breathe and live
I've dwelled inside my mind, my body, and yet, as I turn my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my own my old room where I stay. Deprived of a sense, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. Eye for an eye. The window is so dirty. The flight better gets through. Fuck. I want to see the light once again. There's someone in there. If each jar floats half of an unusual big eyeball, stain, stain the water with good flesh and blood. There used to be a mirror in this room through through it sh shattered long ago. <laughs> Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optics, n the optic nerves that connect the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely Recon construct reconstructed. Oh no, damn it! Fuck! Ba ba ba! I get beautiful cherry red eyes. Every dusty jar rests in the corner, each one carrying different colors and eyeballs. Okay. Oh, hello. This might work. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. <laughs> Acquired a red eyeball. At last, we can meet again. Okay. That was fun.
Alright, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, join for Army, and I hope to see you on the next video. And share my videos and follow me on Twitter at RetromonYT, capital R, capital YT. And I hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.